Is money really the key to happiness? What research says about wealth and well-being? Let's get real for a minute. How many times have you told yourself, if I just had more money, all my problems would disappear? It's a common thought, especially when you see influencers on social media living in luxury, jet-setting to Bali, driving that sleek sports car, or lounging by infinity pools. But what if I told you that once you reach a certain financial comfort level, more money does not equal more happiness? You might think, that can't be true. Look at all the happy, wealthy people. Well, the truth is, it's a little more complicated than it looks. Today, let's break down what money can and can't do for your happiness and uncover some real secrets to finding joy that go beyond your bank account. Spoiler alert, the answer might surprise you. Money and happiness, where's the line? There's a fascinating study that often gets brought up in these conversations. Researchers Daniel Kahneman and Angus Deaton, two super smart Nobel Prize winners, discovered that money does increase happiness, but only up to around $75,000 a year. After that, more cash in your pocket doesn't significantly boost your day-to-day -day happiness. Why? Because once your basic needs are met, extra money is more likely to be spent on things that don't necessarily bring lasting joy. Sure, buying a fancy new gadget or a designer handbag feels exciting at first, but that feeling fades, right? You quickly return to your baseline, wondering why that thrill was so temporary. But let's pause here. This doesn't mean money isn't important. Being financially secure, paying off debt, or having a cushion for emergencies is huge for your peace of mind. It reduces stress and allows you to focus on things that actually bring happiness. So what are those things? The real drivers of happiness, hint, it's not a bigger paycheck. Here's the secret. Happiness isn't a thing you can buy. It's a feeling that comes from how you live, not how much you spend. And that brings us to some crucial factors that research shows matter more than money when it comes to long-term happiness. Experiences. Over stuff. Research tells us time and again that spending money on experiences, like traveling, hobbies, or even a great dinner with friends, makes us happier than spending on things. Think about it. The joy of that new phone wears off quickly, but memories of a breathtaking sunset on a beach or laughing with friends over dinner, those stick around. Connection. Over the last month, the viewership for this channel has exploded. And I just want to say thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to those who've been with me from the beginning. And I want to give an early thank you for those who've come to this channel who have not yet subscribed, but will. Thank you very, very much. We have particular goals to grow this channel. And the way we want to do that is by providing quality content. I've changed the system a little bit in terms of how I do the content. And I hope you will continue to enjoy and find benefit that will help you to improve your well-being and your overall happiness. Thank you so much for your support. And I look forward to your continued support and continued growth. And most importantly, continued quality content to help you along your way. Thank you. We are social creatures, and relationships play a massive role in our happiness. Whether it's family, close friends, or even a community you belong to, those connections bring lasting fulfillment. If you've ever felt more joy from a deep conversation with someone you care about than from any paycheck, you know what I mean. Purpose and growth. Ask yourself this. What drives you? People who feel they have a purpose, whether it's in their work, personal life, or even volunteering, tend to be happier. If you focus on your personal growth, learning new skills, or contributing to something larger than yourself, you'll likely feel a deeper sense of satisfaction than any dollar amount can provide. Let's take a pause here. Ask yourself, are you spending your time and energy on things that truly bring you joy? Or are you chasing material wealth, hoping it will fill the gap? The trap of social comparison, why we feel unhappy, despite having enough. Now let's get into something we all do often without realizing it, comparing ourselves to others. Ever look at someone's Instagram feed and think, wow, they have it all figured out. I'm so behind. Welcome to the joy killer that is social comparison. Even if you're earning a good salary, when you see someone else earning more, living in a bigger house, or traveling to more exotic places, it can make you feel like you're not doing enough. But here's the thing. 
This mindset traps you on what researchers call the hedonic treadmill. No matter how much you achieve or earn, you'll constantly crave the next level, never fully satisfied. Here's a quick mindset shift that can help. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on what truly makes you happy. Gratitude for what you already have can be a powerful tool in breaking free from the comparison cycle. When more money can actually hurt happiness. This might sound wild, but there's such a thing as having too much money, at least when it comes to happiness. Sure, wealth can bring comfort, but excessive focus on money can lead to anxiety, mistrust, and even isolation. If all you think about is protecting your wealth, are you really living? In fact, research shows that people who chase materialism often feel less happy. Why? Because when your focus is solely on financial success, you lose sight of what really matters, things like relationships, personal growth, and community. You become so focused on accumulating wealth that it becomes your identity, leaving little room for the richness of life's simpler pleasures. The world's happiest people aren't the wealthiest. Let's zoom out and look at some of the world's happiest countries, places like Finland, Denmark, and Switzerland. These countries consistently top the happiness charts, yet they aren't the wealthiest in terms of individual income. Instead, they emphasize work-life balance, strong social safety nets, and community. People in these countries have a deep sense of security and belonging, and they don't obsess over material success. They're a reminder that happiness isn't about having more. It's about living better. So, how can you take this lesson and apply it to your life? A happiness blueprint. What you can do now. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. You now know that while money can buy comfort, it doesn't necessarily buy happiness. So what's the next step? Here's a quick action plan to help you focus on what truly brings joy and fulfillment. Reframe your spending habits. Ask yourself, am I spending on things or experiences? Next time you're tempted to splurge on a material item, consider investing in an experience that will create lasting memories instead. Nurture your relationships. Make time for the people you care about. Plan a lunch date with a friend, call a family member, or join a community group that aligns with your interests. Social connections are one of the strongest predictors of happiness. Cultivate purpose. What's your bigger purpose? Whether it's in your career, a side hustle, or volunteering, find something that gives your life meaning. When you feel like you're contributing to something larger than yourself, you'll experience a deeper sense of fulfillment. Practice gratitude. Start a gratitude journal or take a moment each day to reflect on what you're thankful for. Shifting your focus to what you already have can help break the cycle of wanting more. Seek balance, not excess. Finally, remember that happiness is about balance, not excess. You don't need a million dollars to be happy. You just need to align your life with your values, find joy in the small things, and surround yourself with people who lift you up. Happiness isn't about how much you have but how you live. At the end of the day, money is a tool, not the destination. Sure, it can help make life easier, but it's not the ultimate source of happiness. The real key to a fulfilled, joyful life lies in your relationships, your sense of purpose, and how you choose to spend your time. So let's stop chasing dollar signs and start focusing on the things that truly matter. But don't just take my word for it. Take action today. If you're ready to dive deeper into creating a happier, more fulfilling life, it's time to take the next step. Schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation with the creator of this channel, Todd Allen. Todd has helped countless people just like you transform their mindset, unlock their true potential, and live with purpose. Now it's your turn to start this journey. Comment in the section below the word happiness, and Todd will connect with you directly to schedule your consultation and helping you to begin living the life you've always dreamed of. Happiness is within your reach. Let Todd Allen support you on your way. Don't wait. Your best life starts now. If you found this content helpful, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. There we can answer questions and stay connected. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and be happy.